is a season to be merry, except I can't help noticing some people taking their merriment a little too far. Whilst I love a tipple as much as the next person, and I'm the first to admit that even I can have a few too many, on occasion, I am shocked to see so many people absolutely plastered and completely vulnerable out on the streets. I'm more shocked having seen bar staff serve punters who are clearly absolutely off their faces. We have a law in this country which fines bar owners who serve alcohol to people who are already drunk. Worse than a fine, the bar owners could lose their license. But the truth is, it's hardly ever enforced, and I think that is disgraceful. These profiteering bar owners are exploiting people who are in danger. If bar owners are not responsible enough to stop serving, they should not have their license in the first place. Uh, Michelle, I understand your point. There is clearly a law that addresses the concern that you have. I think the issue isn't about changing the law, it's about the enforceability. Yeah, so absolutely. I think the problem is there's just too fewer people being prosecuted. I think over the last five years, the number any given year is less than 20. That, I think, says it all. So you agree so, with me? So I 100% agree. But the point I'm making to you is what you should be debating here is where is the problem in enforceability? The issue here is that you see somebody drunk. How do you actually get that to stick from an enforceability point of view and get the, 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 the license owner or, or the barman, etc., convicted? Because clearly a crime. So yeah. my concern is, what are you actually saying? What would you like to see being changed? Yeah, so first of all, what am I saying and what am I seeing? I mean, we've got some pictures here, for example, of the kind of people in some of the states I'm referring to now, when I look at some of these pictures, they're like absolutely wrecked. And they've come from somewhere. More often than not, they've come from bars. Every street corner has pretty much got CCTV on the corner of them. You can see the bars that these uh, punters are coming out of. Most bars have CCTV within them. So we need to be more active in terms of checking this footage. We need to be more proactive in having more uh, police wandering around, going into bars. They offer fines at the moment. If you're being fined and you're consistently being fined, you should be absolutely hauled in front of a magistrate and losing your license if you keep persisting with these fines. And those numbers that you describe, it's outrageous. Guy, you sound guy. like you're about to um, explode next to well, me. What's no, 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 I'm not going to explode. I mean, I just think it's nice that you've all come as Christmas characters because I note that I've agreed with James the whole of the show, so you're one of the three wise men. Congratulations. Rachel, you've come as Cinderella because you've been mm. talking balls. Uh, Greg, for some bizarre reason, you've come dressed as a raspberry ripple, but it looks nice. Uh, Christmas. And, Christmas. Hey. and you ho, ho, are the ho, Grinch. Ho, ho. You are the Grinch ho, that has stolen ho. Christmas. You've never been on a night out with me. I'm definitely not a Grinch. Well, I'm telling you, you're quite right. In the footage, I imagine they're young women I couldn't see, but the footage of those people is absolutely wrong. And, of course, if they're vulnerable, they need help. But for some people, right... Christmas is their one big splurge. Oh, now, it's really? different for you. I, I sense that perhaps you have a good time. You're out every week or every month or whatever. And they look forward to it. And they save up for it. And Brilliant. they've been working all year in the factories or all year in the stores or driving forklift trucks or whatever. They've been, and they want to go out and get absolutely bladdered, plastered, wrecked, whatever. Well, any, almost any verb in the world you can put the ed, ed on. It'll mm -hmm. work. Whatever you want. Absolutely tanked up. And they, So let them do that. And, of course, as James says, there are laws to stop them being served if they are too drunk and I think the vulnerability is a separate issue. Nick I think you, you're, you're missing my no, point No no can I just say <coughs> you're all missing the point and Nick you are obviously the spirit of Christmas <laughs> on the panel. <laughs> this, well, what this is about, well, <laughs> see, You can't afford to get drunk in bars like that. Oh. What they're doing is they're going to the supermarkets they're getting extra strength mm -hmm. cider or vodka, which it's point. a loss leader, that is where the problem mm. of drunkenness lies, and that is what ex why no bar owners are being arrested for serving drunk people, because they're already drunk when they come in. Yeah, but they're already, and by the way, I speak from experience as one of these <laughs> girls that couldn't afford my nights out, so I did used to drink at home and get yeah. drunk with my mates, and then mosey over to a bar, and the key point is, I would arrive at these dra uh, bars drunk. 
and they would serve me, they would serve my mates, and they will be serving those kind of people. So and you that think is the state the sanction should be on the part that, let's say, the 18-year-old who's doing a holiday job, who served you a drink, you think he should pay the price for the fact that you came to a bar drunk and you asked for a drink? No, what I think is, I'm not talking about an 18-year-old <coughs> bartender, I'm talking about the owner of an establishment. If you go, if you want to get drunk, by the way, you know, it's Christmas and it's all the rest of it, what I'm talking about is irresponsible behaviour from the bar owners who are allowing drunken people and we can debate what drunkenness is but it's pretty obvious if you're hammered however you've got there whether it's at home or in the bars and you give that person extra alcohol you should be fined well, if you keep doing it lose your license please well, one it's not that obvious that's the mm. and actually True. the effect of alcohol on people is massively different mm. some people get completely sad. i mean i remember seeing exactly that i remember being in a pub in tooting where the guy behind the bar said you've had too much you, I'm not serving you anymore. And the guy then smashed the place up. Yeah. And, and well, then the bouncers uh, need to get him out. But not all pubs have bouncers. Most of them do. I just prefer for everybody to ha have some individual responsibility rather than to make well, it the establishment's response. I think we should all make a pledge. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, Michelle, from what I hear. I, I last week, because it's Christmas, I'm driving along and I get pulled into by the police. Hello. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Is it your jacket? No, no. Yeah. They, they complimented me on the, the jacket. Place, but yeah. It is a fashion crime. Yeah. I, just, I think that's what they thought I was drunk <laughs> wearing. But, no, actually, I got pulled in by the police and they said, excuse me, now I haven't been drinking for a month, right? I hadn't had a oh, single drink for a week. month. And he put and this policeman I let down the window and he said, excuse me, sir, but... Um, when was your last drink? And I felt so smug. <laughs> I said, a month ago. You know, I'm feeling really good. And my wife said next to me, said, do you want to ask me? <laughs> and this policeman said, no, so I'm afraid we can't ask passengers to be breathalyzed. <laughs> so, but I, I find... I find what you're asking for too difficult. It's too yeah. difficult. It really is the nanny state at the, at the extreme. And I just don't think you're Why do you think work? the system's failing, Michelle? Mm. Why do I think it's failing? Because people, there was a study, by the way, um, in 2014, where they got a load of actors to go out and pretend to be hammered. In 84% <coughs> of the cases, the bars continued serving them. Uh, which is, and this, for me, like highlights the problem. Michelle, bars want to sell drinks. Yes, I know they do, punters. but then all these people end up on the streets getting hoovered up by the paramedics and the emergency services, causing us all problems. But